You're going to learn how to install X-Ray for Minecraft 1.21.4, and I'm also going to teach you how to fix any issue you might have along the way, like for example, the ores being dark, because I know that's a common issue. I'm gonna teach you how to fix that as well. So let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. Now, the first step to download X-Ray for Minecraft 1.21.4 is to click the second link in the description, which is a written guide on how to download and install X-Ray. But if you don't wanna read through the guide, just scroll down to step one and click download X-Ray. That is going to redirect you to the X-Ray official page, where over here, we're going to look for 1.21.4. However, as of right now, the most recent version is 1.21.3 but don't worry because 1.21.3 it's 100% compatible with 1.21.4 so to download that version click on these three dots and click download file if you see 1.21.4 when you're over here however download that version let's go ahead and click download file and after five seconds our download will begin right away and while x-ray download if you're trying to use this x-ray on a multiplayer server there's a big chance that you're going to get banned from the server as using x-ray or any other tool that gives you an unfair advantage it's prohibited from these servers. So to prevent that, I recommend that you create your own server. And there is no better way than creating your own server with Apex hosting, because they will let you create a server where you could add mod packs, over 200 mod packs, servers that have connections all around the world. So it doesn't matter where you are located or your friends, they will have a good connection. But most importantly, you will own the server. These servers are hosted online, so you don't have to worry about port forwarding or keeping your computer on all the time. And something I personally love is that you could create the server through your phone and then access the server console through your phone, meaning that you could be away from the house and stuff and still be able to kick people out, change the settings, do whatever you want to do. It is your server after all. I'm going to leave that first link in the description so you could get 25% off with Apex Hosting. Hurry up and take advantage of that deal now so you don't get banned from a multiplayer server when using X-Ray. Now let's keep going with the tutorial. And as you can see, our download finish is over here on our recent download history. And let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop. Now it's time to add the X-Ray into Minecraft. This is extremely simple. And to do so, just go ahead and launch your Minecraft game. It could be regular Minecraft, or you could also use Optifine. We already have a video on our channel on how to use Optifine. If you want to be able to see the ores in the dark and if you don't understand what i'm saying you'll see in a second anyways i'm gonna launch regular minecraft so you can see how it's going to look for you if you don't have optifying or anything like that which we're gonna talk about in a second go ahead and open your regular game and once the game opens to add the x-ray just launch a world it could be a single player or a multiplayer world again i do recommend that you create your own server you don't want to run the risk of getting banned from a public server just because you're using x-ray once you're over here in your world let's go ahead and get to the ground level just so we can see down into the ores what you want to do is press escape Head over to options and over here you're going to click on resource packs this is going to give you this menu over here where we're going to click open pack folder once this folder opens most likely you won't have anything in here and i'm actually going to delete a resource pack that i already have in here and what we're going to do is add that zip file that we downloaded earlier the x-ray ultimate zip file into this folder you don't have to unzip it you're going to leave it as a zip file now head back into the game and you should see x-ray ultimate over here and we're going to click on this arrow right here that is going to put it on the selected side and now we're going to click done and just go back into the game and as you can see in a second we have x-ray now working in minecraft 1.21.4 but as you can see as i was telling you earlier this x-ray are really dark right there's multiple ways of fixing that first increase your brightness all the way up also you could give yourself a night vision effect or take a night vision potion within the game as you can see i just gave myself a night vision effect and we are able to see down there to all the ores another way that you could fix this is by simply installing optifine installing optifine is super simple and we actually have a guide over here that i'm going to leave in the description but we also have a video that we just posted on the channel on how to install Optifine. All you have to do is download Optifine from the Optifine page. You're going to download the 1.21 version. And once you download that file, you're going to double click on it. You're going to hit install and you're going to install Optifine 1.21.4. Once you install Optifine, you will see here on the launcher and then just go ahead and play using Optifine. And once you launch a world, you will see that you could actually see those dark ores. And the cool thing about Optifine is that whenever you join a server, other people don't need to have Optifine or the server doesn't need to allow mods because Optifine is a client-side mod, which means that you could use it without permission from the server or without adding mods to the server. Again, using Optifine will actually give you that night vision-like effect without actually needing the night vision. And you could actually add shaders as well. As you can see, I have shaders and the game looks pretty, pretty cool. And this is pretty much how to add X-Ray to Minecraft 1.21.4. I hope this video helped you. If it did, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, bye-bye.